Paul, what do you want to get out of practice today? Uh, details. You know, I think we've got to go a long ways if guys understand how to execute their, their job spec and find a way to the ball. Um, how have you evaluated your defensive line's performance from week one to week two? Where do you see the most improvement? Uh, man, I, I think for us to, to have a chance, we've we got to make uh, every effort to, again, to clean up uh, the little details, you know, technique issues. Uh, but it comes down to fundamentals. We've got to be fundamentally uh, 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 improving. And that's, uh, that's what the, the goal is here today. We've got to make sure that we're, as we progress into the week, those things got to be cleaned up and uh, do it with uh, energy. When you watch Wyoming's offense on tape, what stands out to you? You know, they do a lot, a lot of things, presents uh, issues as far as personnel that they pour, and we got to make sure that we're uh, aggressive and, and, make, and, and really just uh, be, be accountable where you need to be. And uh, if everything fits the way it's supposed to, you know, we have a chance. But, uh, you know, they have a talented group, but, you know, they pride themselves in, in pounding their ball and have a uh, NFL uh, caliber quarterback that makes everything go. Is he one of the better quarterbacks you've faced coaching? Ugo uh, says you remind him a little bit of Jared Goff. Yeah, hands down, he's one of those guys. Boys in the pocket uh, makes a lot of things uh, happen for those guys. And he's played a lot of enough uh, uh, good ball that uh, you know, those, those guys are, are a rare breed, and we got to make sure that we're, you know, we're on board with our game plan. And we'll see. They've had a lot of success throwing the ball, but do you think they want to run the ball as much too, or just have well, it? I mean, every, everybody has a, a game plan and has to have balance and to establish that. You know, they have a successful uh, passing. Uh, guys will do what they do and we just got to continue to work on, on ourselves and making sure that we're, we're ready to uh, execute our game plan. How crucial is getting a pass rush on Josh Allen? <laughs> well, you give him any, uh, any any inch, he'll take a yard and uh, we've got to make sure that we, we uh, don't, because uh, you can't stop him. You, know, you can want to try to minimize his opportunities, but you know everybody's got to fit. Uh, pass rush and coverage got to go hand in hand, so uh, looking forward to the opportunity. I think you guys are ready to, to bring a little pressure on this Saturday? Well, you know, I think the, the, there is no pressure. I think the, the, the goal for, uh, for us all along is uh, more about us and what we can uh, can do, how we can do it, the, dem the manner and the demeanor we can execute our game plan is the key. And uh, we can't really worry about things outside of control, but we can control how we execute our game plan. He has turned the ball over quite a bit bit against Power 5 teams. How important are takeovers going to be on Saturday? Uh, man, the, 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 the takeaway, keep away game is really critical. We have to create those op opportunities for our offense and, uh, you know, that's one of our, our, our preach is to, to take that ball away and, and we have a, uh, a spring ball here right before you enter the, uh, the practice field. We, you know, guys got to hit it before they take the field. It's, it's, a, it's a must uh, for us to have a, uh, an, uh, any kind of chance. We have to make sure that we create those opportunities.